You guys are on the talk show. We're wondering, are you guys addicted to Fortnite? No. Well, some yes. I will say yes. I think I am. No, I'm not addicted to Fortnite. I just play it when no. I don't have anything to do. Oh, bro, I'm addicted to Fortnite. All right, welcome to Squad Up, the first Fortnite talk show. We squad up with random people across the world. From Chicago? Oh, Nebraska. Lincoln. Brazil. <laughs> we try to get that W, but more importantly, we try to find the story inside of everybody. We're trying to get just a little bit deeper. What went wrong? She wouldn't get rid of her ex. Uh, yeah. That's not a good situation, man. Yo, AC, we, get, we got a real question here. Yo, what up? You want to squad up? Let's do it, yeah, I'm dead. What state are you in? North Carolina. Both of you? Yeah, yeah. But I'm from California, man. I've only been living here about eight months. Where in California? Modesto. Modesto, dude. That's where my grandma's from. That's where my mom's from. Dude, Modesto, rep it. That's what's up. Rep it, dude. Downey High, baby. Dude, no way. That was my high school, man. You did not go to Downey. That's where my mom went. Okay. Uh, Tom Thomas Downey High School, bro. Yes, I did. George wow. Lucas went there. George Lucas did go there. That's correct. <laughs> so what was the three things we need to know about Downey? Dude, Downey had a lot of really awkward and ugly people. True. Okay. Um, <laughs> but they were usually cool. Ugly but cool. What's the second um, thing we need to know? They were, we were pretty good at football, but I never played. I was I was always a basketball player, and I'm probably the best. Oh, right behind you. Damn. Last thing about Downey. We had a security guard that was there for 47 years, and he just died. He passed away. So 47? His, what was his name? I'll ask my mom. Ah, uh, it was John. It was John something. But he had it, he had one eye, bro. One eye was blind. So one eye John. That's a sign. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty one sure my John, mom was there yeah. within the last 50 years, so I will ask her about one eye John. Man, you really like Ready Player One, huh? Yeah, my dad's friends with the writer. With the writer of the book? Yeah, Ernest Klein. Oh, that's amazing. Have you met Ernest Klein? Um, I have. I went to Austin to meet him. That's dope. Yeah, what are the three things we should know about Ernest Klein? He's very modest, and he's chill, and he's a good guy. That's great, man. Modest, chill, good guy. He sounds like somebody I want to hang out with. Where are we dropping? Oh, Greasy Grove. I am just so far away. Me too. We were just so excited, Ready Player One fan. Sorry, we didn't even pay attention. Did you see the movie? Did you see the Ready Player One movie? Yeah, I saw it before it even came out, my dude. Oh, Whoa, oh. My dude. What, uh, what did you think of it? Did you like that better than the book, or did you like the book better? I liked it better than the book, because I'm not really a reader, but... I got you. So you like the movie because it's got all the fancy colors and it's got music and it's fun. Have you seen the movie? Oh, I saw it, dude. I saw it opening night because I am also a Ready Player One fan. Nice. I fell down on the rock. Oh, I just got shot as I was coming to save you. Say hi to Ernest for us. What gets you excited? What gets you out of bed in the morning besides Fortnite? Besides Fortnite? <laughs> Um, well, being a mother, I have to take care of my daughter, so. And how old is she? Three. She's three. Well, that's yep. amazing. Does she like Fortnite? Yeah, she always asks to play. Is she good at Fortnite? She's probably better than me, so. What are the three things three-year-olds are into? PJ Masks. <laughs> PJ Masks, we're on our way into the night to save the day. Uh, candy, chocolate milk. Wow. Ooh. You just listed three things that I'm into. Banana, say hi to your daughter for us. Let her know she's uh, the future gamer we're all looking forward to. <laughs> I will. We are playing with the one and only Dank Memes today. Hey, Dank, how long you uh, how long you been playing? Are you, you feeling good? Maybe about one and a half hours, roughly, so I'm pretty warmed up. Dank. My first question, and it's got to be, how did you come up with that dope name? Um, I just sort of thought of it, but I, I'm not really good at naming things, and I was just looking at some good memes, qual high quality, not those low quality, disgusting ones. I'm like, oh, why don't I just name myself This Is A Joke to make my friends laugh, and the name stuck around ever since. They usually just call me, like, Dank or just Dank memes. Dank, okay, do, do you have, like, a favorite 
kind of meme? Like, do you have a favorite uh, uh, format or? That's a good question. Edgy or just dank? Edgy memes, like, there's some really screwed up stuff on there sometimes that I try to stay away from, but other times it's like really quality high. Or dank, dank memes. Like, it's sort of normie now, but... I mean, the best are deep fried. Oh, check out deep fried memes too if you go on Reddit. It's a pretty good place. Like, the, the formats are just sort of... Eh, right now, they're... A new format's going to rise pretty soon, I bet. Dank, I, I understand about half the things you're saying, but it's amazing. You're like the expert on memes. Okay, I've deleted photos of like family and friends to save space on my phone for memes, so I'm like pretty big into them. I know it sounds really stupid, like, kind of, but... No, man, don't say that. I mean, you're like an expert on this. I mean, it's cool that you're passionate about something. That's not... There's nothing stupid. Oh, okay. Someone's yeah, shooting so. from on top of a hill. They're pretty far away. There's two of them. GG. What is up, squad? Hey, what up, babies? Whoa, hey, welcome to Squad Up. Yeah, thanks for joining us on the show today, guys. Hey, you know, um, really g glad to be here. Hey, that's what we like to hear. Where, uh, where are you call, where are you calling in from? Where are you located in the world? For uh, first time caller, long time listener, um, from Chicago. From Chicago, dude. I literally was in Chicago twelve hours ago. Oh, really? <laughs> Is it still so freaking hot there? Dude, yesterday. Oh, so yeah. I didn't I didn't leave my apartment all day, and then I left yesterday to go out and. It sucks. Yeah. I uh, and I'm so and I'm a big I'm a big boy, so you guys wanna go to the stadium? I yeah, want let's nothing do it. more than go go to the stadium. Nice, awesome. You guys uh I like the cut of your guys' jib. Oh. I'm glad to be on your show. Hey, we're glad to have you, man. Thank you. So uh how'd you come up with your name? Um, so when I was a little boy, um I used to train um with circus tigers. And they would call me AC because I was I was so cool under pressure because everyone else would just freak out. I don't know. I just added an O in the middle, and uh, no, it's my initials. <laughs> Man, I was I was rolling with it for a second. I want you guys to think I'm cool on my own. You know, ooh, purple duos. Hey, you know what? Yo, what makes you cool is what's in your heart, not what's in your past. You know. Yo, respect. So there are no tigers. But yeah, just to, just to be clear, there are no tigers. What a uh, what what was middle school like for you? I I lived in a janitor closet. Um, yo, come I, on, man. yo, we you, we're about the real. No, yeah, and you're you know what? You're giving me you giving me uh, plot points from Riverdale. <laughs> or maybe it's just a forgotten closet under a well-trod staircase, where it's just you and the mice. And the spiders. I am the. I do consider myself a modern day Veronica, so that's a compliment. Oh, uh, oh, okay. Yeah, I like. I like where this is that. going. Yo. <laughs> no, I know you guys are like. He's gonna say Archie or Jughead. I was like, no, nah, man, Veronica. Yeah. So how are you, Veronica? Um, Ver Veronica when I'm bad. Um, Betty when I'm sad. Next question. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Got cool. it. I mean, Bernard Lowe used to host the Riverdale podcast, so he's actually the one to talk to about this stuff. I don't know what you guys are talking about at all, but I'm into it. Yeah, that show kind of sucks. It's like, if I wanted to watch something like that, I would watch Degrassi, you know? You know Drake was on that, and he got shot in the back? It was the wheelchair boy. What's his name? Wheelchair Jimmy? Wheelchair... Yeah, wheel, wheel, I think it was wheelchair boy. I think you were right the first time. <laughs> well, okay, have you heard uh, Scorpion? No, but everyone, everyone won't shut the hell up about it, so I guess I should give it a little... Uh, I should give it a listen, yeah. What do you want, Apple Apple Music or Spotify? No, I, I f*** with Spotify. I'm like the only Apple Music user that I know. Oh, I see somebody south, southeast-ish. Like 160-ish. Cool, I got a sniper. Uh, Is he on yeah. the hill? Uh, he's like down this hill. Oh, he's right here. Oh, God. He's building, he's building. Oh, f he, let me, sorry, let me come to you guys. Th then I gotta ask, what, what's your dream? Yeah, what's your dream, AOC? Jeez, put me in the hot seat. Uh, I want to write for like TV and movies. Nice. That's amazing. What uh, like what are your influences? Like, what is something where you're like, oh man, if I could have written that, I'd be so happy. Um, damn. If I had a list, uh, Fargo, Atlanta. I think that show's sweet. What hot American Summer? Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. A couple guys uh, east, further back. Yeah, they're I building up right there. Oh, I see him. Yeah. 
We gotta take down his walls. All right, I'm throwing some plungers. Mr. Nixon, tear he's down got, your wall. He's got no shield. No, so you like Simpsons too? Oh, of course. Uh, so, um, up, in, up until the early 2000s. Um, so you sound like a walking suggested things to watch on Netflix. Like you, you have all yeah, the all the. I things. am part robot. Oh God, guys! I got. Sp I got you, Queen. I got. I got Spike. Pretty sure I have like borderline Asperger's, so you're not far off. Oh. Hey, I was trying to use my Where's shotgun, Where's dude. I'm sorry. No, dude, you're good. I walked in. I didn't even check for traps. Where's Amateur it? move. Dude, I'm sorry. Oh. You Why do you spikes? tell me? I, t I told you, I hit my spikes. <laughs> Yo, AC, we got, we got a real question here. Yo, what up? You want to squat up? Let's do it, yeah, that's them. Oh, we're dropping at Lonely Lodge? What? Why? Dude, we're going to the lodge, man. I like it. Lonely Lodge, no one ever comes here and there's some pre I mean, sometimes it sucks when you come here and there's no loot, but... Let's uh, cross our fingers and cross that bridge when we come to it, yeah? I have uh, I have to go back east for a little bit. East where to? Uh, Boston. Well, I'm not from Boston, but... So you never mentioned Goodwill Honey? Don't You didn't like that movie? No, dude, that's like that and Departed. Like, I hate when, like, it's like the go-to. Everyone's like, yo, Departed. I'm like, yo, Boston's not that hardcore, guys. <laughs> it was for, like, maybe 15, 20 years, but once Whitey Bulger left it, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna be, like, ripping on Whitey Bulger, and then they're gonna be like, yo, he's gonna be listening to Squad Up. He's gonna send the Bunker Hill gang after me. You grew up in outside of Boston. Yep. And then how'd you get to Chicago? Because I was taking classes at uh, Second City in Chicago. Awesome. So wh what was your experience at Second City? Not bad, man. I met some really cool people. Um, I, di I, I did, like, the writing program there, so I learned a lot in regards to, like, um, not just, like, writing scripts and stuff, but how to, like, develop characters, like, plot. What's the best sketch you've written? Yeah, give us the TV guide synopsis of one of your favorites. Oh, uh, damn. I'm trying to think of a good one I did. It was one I did was like Old Lady NASCAR. And it was like uh, this pit crew, and there was like this really old woman, and she was like slowing down the race and shit. Uh, but then by the end of it, there was like this huge pileup. So the old lady ended up like saving the driver and shit. Oh, okay. We got a whole arc in that one. Uh, it's not all about the jokes. I like tugging at people's heartstrings, you know? Hey, I, that's it's beautiful. like a Boy Meets World episode, you know? Wow, oh. yeah, that's what we're talking about. But more, but more Mr. Turner. <laughs> okay, great. Okay. So, AC, dude, what's what's stopping you from following your dreams? Nothing's really stopping me. I'm kind of like, it's more just kind of being lazy. And, uh, that sounds like something's stopping you. For example, this. <laughs> it's like, you... yeah, I should write for a few hours. And I'm like, but... Do you think you're addicted to Fortnite? No, I mean, I just got it like a month or two ago, so it's like, once it, uh, that's like with all games, you play it for like a, a few weeks or a month, and you're kind of like, eh, okay. Alright, but I mean, it sounds like it's having at least some mild real-life impacts on your life, you know? It's like, you could be writing right now, but you're playing uh, Fortnite with some jabronis on the internet. Yeah, give you guys some credit. You guys are, you guys are like, some cool jabronis at least. I feel like there is something stopping you from achieving your dreams. I mean, yeah, definitely money. Um, yeah, we got yeah, we people got building. People. I got out of that shopping cart. I was like, All right. <laughs> we gotta be serious. <laughs> You're right. Down for 29. Yeah, so much, for I'm 30. so far away from you guys. God damn. Someone save Bernard. Oh, what a hero. Sorry, I got him. AC, I didn't want to steal your kill, but oh, Bernard, you died. My bad. Yeah, dog. Oh, oh, oh no! Are you kidding me? <laughs> AC, dude. Uh, okay. I got eight health left. Oh, I got four health did, left. I got two health dead. left. Dab <laughs> him? Yeah, dab him. Oh, him. Uh. <laughs> oh yeah. It's well, over. Dead. It's oh, over. Yeah. <laughs> That's been Squad Up, That's Fortnite right. talk show. We talked to some people. Yeah. Yeah, had some good conversations with some people. Also, some bad ones. Very bad. That's what I love, is when people open up to us. Yeah, so people, you gotta crack them open a little bit, but when they open up, mmm, juicy. Queen juicy. Thanks for squatting up with us, everybody. We'll see you next time. <laughs>